The most basic example is controlling groups of things, like mute groups, where you want to control each element individually, and you also want to control them collectively. The way you do that is uh, you set up one scene to send individual notes. Here you can see I have uh, these notes set up chromatically from C4 to B4. Then I went into live and I just mapped those to the mute switches. So now I can control each one individually. Now in the second scene, I set up a few pads to uh, send groups of those notes. All right, as you can see here, I have them, you know, this one's sending the first four notes, so that'll mute tracks one through four, and then five through eight, nine through 12, so. All right, very simple, but very useful. You could use this for clip groups, effect groups, and mute solo groups, um, you know, whatever type of groove control you need. In this example, we're gonna use the pads to send two notes. We're gonna use one of the notes to trigger a sample, and the other one to control a parameter. So we'll be able to get 16 level style control. Well, it'll actually be 12 level, but 16-level uh, style control over any parameter in live, so we won't just be limited to velocity and filter and stuff, anything we want. All right, so the first step is to uh, set up a scene where the, note, where the pads are sending the notes that you want to use to control stuff, and I'd suggest using notes that are you know, either high in the scale or low in the scale. In this case, I'm using the highest notes, uh, G-sharp 8 to G9, and then in live, you just map that range of notes to a parameter. In this case, I'm going to use a, a macro knob. That way I can link the macro knob to different parameters and try stuff out. So to map the range, just hit the lowest note and then hit the highest note. And now that range is assigned to the macro. And now it controls it. All right, the next step is uh, in the next scene, I'm going to have the pad send those same notes. And, and the second note is going to send C4 to trigger the first uh, slot in, in impulse. All right, and all my pads are set up that way to send C4. So now in scene two, I can uh, trigger the sample and control the macro. All right, so now we just need to li link that macro to some different parameters. So first of all, let's try transposition. All right, um, let's try the stretch parameter. <laughs> 